Hello friends, how are you doing today? In this video, I'm going to share a script uh, related to uh, related to handling some transcript file from your meeting or your thumb videos. Okay, so uh, this the transcript file I'm using here is a standard file for the Zoom. Okay. Mm. Let me show you the transcript file here. Uh, here I have a folder called uh, transcripts. So it's under the same uh, folder of this uh, spreadsheet. All right. So here I have two demo files here uh, with ex file extension RTF. All right. So if I open it, basically the I think the RTF. Uh, is a rich text file. Um, it basically is a text file here. As you can see here, this in, uh, in this file I have this uh, the meeting transcript. Okay, so basically the, the 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 data is in the same is in a format like this. So you have a segment here one two three four, and you have the start time uh, to the end time. And uh, who uh, is the speaker here uh, in the meeting and the content? Okay, so it it basically in the same uh, format, but it, it's in a text file. So the purpose of this uh, of this script is to convert to grab the data in this text file and uh, grab uh, the and reorganize the, the 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 structure of the file and put them. In a spreadsheet. So once I put the data in the spreadsheet, so you can do some analyze of the data. Maybe for one speaker, how many time uh, they used for this meeting, or how many words they say in the meeting. So you can do things like that. Okay. So this is the main purpose of this uh, of this project. All right. So let me show you how this tool uh, should work. So here. In the spreadsheet which con which bound to the script, as you can see here, I have a menu called uh, Zoom Transcript App. So if you click on this button here and uh, run this convert transcript, uh, this script we're going to uh, convert all the transcript file in this folder, okay, and put them in this spreadsheet. Just simple like that, all right? So Let's try to run this function and see what happened. What we're going to happen here. So it's running here. So the script only uh, handles the files in this folder. So if you put the files outside of the folder, or maybe on on the a chart folder uh, in this folder. Uh, the script we're going to ignore all all of this that files. So okay, so you have to put the files in this folder. All right. So now the the script has finished the job. So two transcript files have, have been converted to this spreadsheet, and the used time seventeen seconds. Okay. So as you can see here, there are, there are two uh, new tabs created. And the tab name is exactly the file name here. Okay, so you need to pay attention here. So if you, uh, so you need to have a different name for different files. Okay, so basically uh, in Google Drive you can have the same name for different files, but uh, here we cannot have uh, two tabs here have the same name. So you need to pay attention to that. So as you can see here, uh, for the demo one here. I got the details of the transcript file, so from the column I to column P. So for each uh, segment here, I put the start time, end time, and uh, how many time you use it in second, and uh, who is the speaker, and the target is uh, the next speaker. Okay, so right now there is no because the next speaker is the same person, so there is no next speaker. So it's empty, and this is the content of the speaker, and the last column is for the the word count. 
Okay, so basically how many words the speaker said in the meeting. All right, so this is the details. All the, uh, you can see the raw data from the text file. And uh, once you get this uh, raw data and you can do some analyze for the data and you can do some summarize uh, for the data. So here from column A to column G, I did some uh, summarize for the data. So here for each speaker, uh, you have the total talk time in second, I think. And also the percentage of the talk time and uh, how many handoffs in this meeting for this uh, speaker, okay? And uh, the percentage of the handoffs and the total word and uh, word per minute. Okay, so basically you can do uh, things like this in the script but this also can be uh, can be calculated with the formulas. I think if you have the, the this uh, original data here, you can do some calculation with the Google formulas, and you I think you can get the same result here. But this uh, this result is uh, calculated in the script in the script directly, so you don't have you don't need to use the formulas here, but you can do more. So in that script, I only handled the, some basic analyze for the data, okay? So, um, so basically that's the core uh, purpose of this script, all right? And uh, the, the another one is the same, all right? So if you have uh, multiple files, you can put them here in this folder and uh, you run this function and going to grab the data in this uh, format. So the format is the same, just the different transcript file have different data. So you have things like this, all right? So that's the main uh, uh, stuff I'd like to share with you today. But as you can imagine, if you'd like to uh, step further and then you can uh, maybe to some automation of the whole process. Maybe you can uh, send the transcript file to your Gmail, okay? So maybe you can send the file, send this file to your Gmail, and uh, from the Gmail, you can use, this, use uh, the app script to download the file and save it here in this, uh, in this folder. And then you can use this tool to convert the data, convert the text file to uh, something like this in this spreadsheet. And after, uh, once we get the data like this, we can create some summaries like this. And once we have the summary, we can create some chart, some reporting, some dashboard with uh, data like this. And once we have the dashboard, we have the report, we have the chart, we can send a report with the data in this spreadsheet with Gmail, okay? So you can send the, re uh, the Gmail automatically to your customer, all right? So I think that's the whole uh, process of the automation, uh, how you can handle the stuff in your daily work and how you can automate do some automation for your daily work, things like this. So this can, this can all of this stuff can be done in the app script. You just need to, you just need to connect all the pieces together. So basically this, uh, this project I'm sharing here is just uh, one single piece of the whole process. So you, you need to connect all of these pieces together. I think I made a, a some related videos like this, how to download the files from uh, Gmail to Google Drive and how to send the report from your, G, uh, from your Google Sheet to, uh, to your client. So with Gmail API, okay? So uh, once you get used to all of these uh, little pieces and you can build the whole process uh, in the app script, all right? So this is the main purpose of this video. And uh, this is uh, a short video, I have to say. But uh, 
actually I'm working uh, something else uh, recently so I don't uh, have a lot of time to release some new videos and uh, today I'm, I just got a chance to make a tool for some people online so I think this is very useful for maybe for for other people uh, they have the same uh, use cases like this so I just want to share this with you guys just in case you have the you need to use something like this okay so let's end it here today and uh, I will see you next time bye bye